Hey there! I didn't hear you come in. Well, since you're here, I might as well introduce myself. My name is DJ Firefox, but most people call me Devin. And you just stumbled upon the very first episode of my brand new show, Hit or Miss. Register trademark. Here's how it works. I pick a video game or a movie, analyze it, and decide if it's worth your time or not. How do I do that? With the wall of bullseyes! The green one means it's a hit, the red one means it's a miss, and the blue one means it's average. Now, let's get started, shall we? Okay, so, what game should I play today? Hmm... Oh yeah... But no. Hmm... Maybe? What's this? Gubble. Sounds familiar. Where have I heard of this game before? We're playing fucking <laughs> Gubble! <laughs> Shit, dude! Holy fuck! Oh yeah, that's where. Well, who knows? Maybe it's not as bad as they say it is. Alright, let's pop this into the old PlayStation machine and have a jolly old time. Okay, let's get this over with. Released in 1996, Gubble is an action puzzle PC game developed by Midas Interactive and Actual Entertainment. I beg to disagree. And published by the Zenimax company known as Mud Duck. Who that's a dirty duck! The version I'll be looking at today, obviously, is the PS1 port. Anyway, the boss claims that the game is FUN FOR THE WHOLE FAMILY! Okay. Help Gubble get home. Use of your wits to clear each level. Dozen of varied levels with plenty of challenges. Outweigh clever enemies and find bonuses along the way. Well hey, if improper grammar doesn't sell us on the best game ever made, what else will? Aside from the alien looking like Dead Mouse. Tell me the resemblance isn't uncanny. Alright, let's jump into the game now. Uh... Hello? Sound department, that's your cue. I think this cutscene is derping out, so let's just skip to the story then. It happened in outer space. What happened in outer space? Okay, I heard you the first time, there's no need to shout at me. Um... Alienception? Suddenly, Gubble was taken away by an alien spaceship. I'm fully aware of that. I just saw it. You don't need to tell me that. To where has he been taken? What are you asking me for? You're the one telling the story. If anyone should know, it should be you. No, wait, 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 wait. Your mission is to remove all the nails which have been hammered into this planet? Excuse me, what? Even Gubble is as confused as I am. So let me get this straight. You kidnapped an alien child, only to have him remove nails from another planet. Here's an idea. Why don't you go down to Lowe's, pick up some tools, and remove the nails yourself? That would have been more sensible than this kind of shit you're committing. Eh, don't worry, kid. I'm asking the same question myself. So, that was the story. Makes about as much sense as anything else. So let's do the dirty deed and just start playing the game. Wait, hold on a second. There's a novice and expert mode? Do they think I'm not experienced enough to play the game that they needed to add an easy mode and a hard mode? Now that's just insulting. Nah, I'm a pick expert, cause that's what I am, bitch! Okay, Renegar, first level. Or, first area, apparently. Sweet graphics, by the way. Uh, music? Where are you? What, did the band leave before I started playing? To be honest, I don't blame them. Okay, I'll give the game the benefit of the doubt and say that was a glitch. Wait, that's it? That was too easy! What's the point of having two difficulties if the game is just too easy? At least give me a challenge, Gubble! Alright, maybe the next level will bring us some difficulty. 
Eh, uh, I said, maybe the next level will bring us some difficulty. I SAID- Okay, I should probably bring this up now. The copy of the game that I got has glitches aplenty. Sometimes there's a delay with the music or it won't play at all, and sometimes the loading times take way too long. Somewhere around Wrath of Cortex or Sonic 06 levels of long. There's not even a loading screen. Look, this isn't a still image, this is real footage from the game playing right now. This probably doesn't sound like a fair review, but I didn't know it would have glitches when I bought it. So... mileage may vary, I guess? Anyway, how about the controls? Are they any good? Well... Let's review, shall we? To move around, you need to use the D-pad instead of the analog sticks, since the game doesn't support them. And to jump, or hover around rather, you have three buttons to work with. Circle, X, and L1. Strange button layout, no doubt. And they are responsive enough for sure, but they can also be kind of slippery at times. Here, let me show you what I mean. See that? I barely hopped onto that screwdriver. Like I said, the controls are responsive, but not by that much. So they're... okay. Not good, not bad either, just okay. Did I mention yet that the game has a score system? Yeah, apparently it measures your success by how fast you go and the less damage you take. I guess Gubble still wants points to be relevant today. So why is this a thing when no one cares about points in a single player game? I mean, unless you're a Chuck E. Cheese. I'm trying to win an expensive prize with tickets. This is a lame joke, I can't use that. So since the game looks about as gorgeous as Austin Powers' teeth, and controls about as well as an arcade crane game, how does the game sound? Well, just like the controls... Eh, it's alright. The music isn't at least cringeworthy, but nothing to go out of your way to listen to, either. It's probably the most bland video game music you'll ever hear at this point. Not much else to say about it, honestly. But Gubble himself has to be the weirdest sound design in the game. I mean, just listen to his voice clips. It might be because he's an alien and therefore speaking a different language, but come on, you have to admit that it just sounds too weird. Maybe it's just me. Wait, uh, hold on. What's that S doing there? Could it be something I need? No, well, let's go find out. If the game will fucking load! Oh, it's a special stage. Wonderful. Oh right, items! I forgot about those. Okay, your weapons will depend on what kind of nails you remove. Hammer, screwdriver, drill, you name it. Stars give you extra points, that no one cares about anymore. Red cards will give you a speed boost. And green cards restore your health. And speaking of health, what's the deal with these enemies? <laughs> God, that was the worst impression ever. They're not impossible to avoid, but they can be and are an annoyance. This is where the strategy aspect of the game comes in, and if you're not careful, you can kiss your skill goodbye. Why are they even trying to hurt you anyway? All they are is just saw blades, worms, electric can openers, and robots. Are nails just something sacred to this planet? If that's the case, then the aliens who kidnapped me are a bunch of assholes! Oh crap, I got a game over. At least Gobble seems happy about it, despite saying, Ouch! Let's not do that again, shall we? Bonus Zimbot? What's this all about? Well, according to the manual, you're supposed to collect the most tools as possible in a set amount of time. But I was so confused the first time I got to this point, I had no idea what was happening. Oh well, not that it adds anything to the game anyway. Moving on. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me! Alright, next world. Farzakal. Let's hope it's less agonizing than the last one. Damn it. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! <sighs> Remember when I said I needed a challenge from this game? Well, here's the foreshadow. The game gets harder each time you progress. At least, I assume you get infinite continues. But wait! It gets even worse when you find out that the PS1 port of this game, in particular, was released in 2002. I shit you not, 2002 is when this was released. For God's sake, the PS2 was already out by then! 
The fact that this came out late in the PS1's life cycle is inexcusable, especially when we had better looking games such as Disney Golf. Okay, that's not the best example, but you get the idea. <sighs> Alright, I'll give it another go. Maybe I need to improve my strategy, that's all. I mean, I did choose expert mode when I should have chosen- That's it! I quit! I'm done! No more! You know, I just discovered something about this game. It turns out that the title of the game is Latin, and when translated, it really says HORSESHIT! Because that's what the game really is! Just. Pure. HORSESHIT! I tell no lie when I say this was one of the worst video game experiences I've ever had. And I've played Shadow the Hedgehog, so I know what I'm talking about. You think I'm being too harsh just because I gave up too early? Well, get this. The loading times were so agonizing, I only recorded half an hour of footage for this video before giving up on my last try. I wanted to press on. Believe me, I really wanted to. But the glitches worsened my experience with this game to the point where I just couldn't play it anymore. That's how much I hate this game. Who knows, maybe you might have better luck with this game, but as far as I'm concerned, I still wouldn't recommend it. If you happen to stumble upon it at your local retro game shop, just leave it there. It's an easy pass. In conclusion, Gubble gets the mess. <sighs> I'm gonna go take a nap to calm my nerves. Thanks for watching the first episode of Hit or Miss. I'm DJ Firefox, and remember, subscribing is an option, not a demand. I need an aspirin.